What you'll come across in your life one way or another is people trying to steal your energy unconsciously. So they don't realize that they're doing this, but they're going to try to control you and manipulate you. And you're going to be manipulated by a lot of people. And I don't mean that in like a fearful way. I'm just saying that people are going to try to manipulate you. But the problem is not that they're, that they're manipulating you. It's that they are unconsciously doing it. So they don't have awareness of the fact that they're controlling or manipulating you. And we forget that sometimes. We think that somebody out there is consciously trying to manipulate us and Sometimes that could be the case. Other times what I found is that a lot of manipulation and control comes from unconsciousness and a lack of awareness and a lack of communication skills and speaking up for what it is that uh, the person really wants. So rather than sharing what they want, they'll manipulate, in, they'll manipulate their way into the situation unconsciously. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to stop being manipulated and controlled by people, take your power back and fully be in alignment with who you really are so that you don't have certain people uh, weighing you down unconsciously. So if you're new to this channel, what I want you to do is to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell because I do post a new video every single day. Also, if you want to work with me personally one on one, hit the link that's in the description box of this video to apply for a free consultation. So you got to realize when people are in a manipulative frame, like they're trying to manipulate you or control you, what I found in my life is that a lot of people don't realize that they're doing this. So whether it's a friend or it's a relationship, uh, a romantic partner, manipulation is usually unconscious. And where it really stems from is a, is a lack of ability to communicate what it is that a person really desires truly in their heart right? And it's not easy to speak your truth, right? It's not easy. So what, what people do instead is they try to find weird little tactics and unconscious ways to try to gain control over the situation rather than speaking the truth directly, right? So an example is like in a romantic relationship, sometimes the partner wants another thing from the partner, maybe more time in the bedroom or maybe uh, you know more time at dinner or whatever. And then instead of just saying that, and asking for what they want, they'll be manipulative and they'll do weird things that then turn the other person away and close them off. So it's interesting because rather than just speaking your truth and sharing with people what you want, what the ego and what we all have within us is we try to unconsciously, we don't realize we're doing this, manipulate our way into the outcome that we desire, that need that we need met. And this is huge because when you understand this, you realize that people aren't out to get you. They're just unconscious. They just don't realize what they're doing. And the thing is, if somebody is lying to you, they're also lying to themselves because everything's connected, right? So if somebody is, uh, is lying to you, they're actually lying to themselves as well. And if you try to manipulate people and maybe you have tendencies within yourself, I, we all have this within us to some degree, we don't realize it. The thing is we, like if you're manipulating somebody else, you're manipulating yourself too basically because that's unconsciousness controlling your life. You see the ego controls us in many ways that we don't even know and that can result in manipulation and control. So if you have somebody manipulating you in your life, the first thing I want you to understand is to remember that it's usually unconscious. It's usually a lack of awareness, a lack of communication skills. So what you can do is just see that for what it is, see where it's coming from. Ask that person and ask yourself, what is it that this person really wants? Like if somebody's trying to manipulate you, just find out what they really want because they're just having, they just want a need. They want something from you. And instead of just telling you, they're trying to, to, to cover it up with something else. And this is so, so common uh, with relationships and uh, you know friends and everything. It's like in, in, you can free yourself, you can free yourself. And so that's the first step. Understand why they're even, they're, they're even manipulating you in the first place. 
unconsciousness, lack of awareness, lack of communication skills to speak up, use their voice to share with you what they truly want on the inside and are unwilling to share. But if you just ask them and you say, hey, what, what do you really want? They'll share that with you and then you won't be manipulated anymore. Either you can give that to them and you can give them what they want or you can just say, I, you know, I can't give this to you, sorry. And then they'll stop manipulating you because they'll either know that you can't give it to them or they'll, or you'll find out what, what it is that uh, they really want and you'll give it to them and it's just that simple and you can free yourself from being manipulated just in that sense now the second thing to do is once you realize this uh, it's important to draw boundaries okay especially if you're an empath if you're consider yourself to be sensitive it's very very critical to lay boundaries down and this is more of a masculine energy not a feminine thing a feminine energy is more of like opening your heart space connecting masculine just like sorry can't do this right now and you know what? Like, it's just something that's needed sometimes for your personal peace, for your personal peace, especially if you're an empath, especially if you're a sensitive being, you, you, you gotta lay the boundaries uh, in your life so that you can feel peace in your body. One of the things that I learned in my life is that a lack of boundaries is what creates anxiety. A lack of boundaries can create a lot of anxiety. And when you lay those boundaries, even though it might not be easy at the beginning, it actually creates a very strong sense of peace in your body that you would not be able to get to unless you lay those boundaries down. So you ever have a, a friend that calls you and says, and says uh, like, hey, do you wanna go do this, right? Do you wanna go do this thing now? And then I don't deal with this anymore because you know I just, I just tell people the truth as it is. That's kind of how I live my life now is uh, I just kind of tell people the truth, right? And I'm very, I'm very blunt and straightforward. I'm a straightforward person because I don't want to do things like, because what I used to do is I used to be like, yeah, like, you know, I, I would explain the reasonings as to why I can't go. And like, I would kind of like feel bad and feel guilty. And now I'm at the point where I'm just like, hey, I can't do this, like, period, you know? And I'll give them, I'll give it to the person straight. And uh, that's very freeing. It's a very, very freeing feeling because now you're not people pleasing. You're not being manipulated and controlled unconsciously. You see what I'm saying? So if somebody asks you, hey, you wanna hang out? If you don't wanna hang out, just say no. That's all you have to do is just say no. And that's really, really hard to do. It's like, Francis, isn't that kind of selfish? Well, let me ask you this. If you want to be peaceful and you wanna be at home, it's something you have anything against that person, you just want peace. And that doesn't make you a bad person, that just means you want peace. But then people will unconsciously try to convince you why you should feel guilty. And that's the manipulation. That's the manipulation, is when you feel guilty. That's the unconscious manipulation happening, is when you feel guilty, that's the, the empath narcissist dynamic going on there. Uh, unconsciously is that is that you truly in your heart don't want to do something but now you feel guilty for uh, f for not wanting to do it and that's that can really create uh, so much anxiety in the body uh, such a lack of peace when you finally just lay the boundary and tell people the truth straight you don't beat around the bush, you tell people what you can do and what you can't do, and you just let them know, you set the expectations, hey, I can do this for you, but I can't do this, you're free. You're free, you're a free person to do whatever it is that you want. And the biggest thing I wanna share with you in this video in regards to being controlled is realize that guilt is one of the ways that people will try to control you unconsciously. And this is why I'm being totally clear because people aren't consciously doing this they're not trying to manipulate you. Nobody really wants to do that to you. It's happening unconsciously without you even, without them or you most of the time realizing. It's just total unconsciousness. That's all it is. And when you have all that unconsciousness playing out, playing the patterns are playing out, what happens is that you both lose. It's a lose-lose situation. You don't feel empowered, they don't feel empowered because you know it's just ego playing out. But then when you lay the boundary, you step into your power and you're actually putting that person in their power too, uh, whether they realize it or not, even though they might be in the short term, 
you know, a little bit offended. In the long term, that's what you both need. You need to honor yourself and the people around you in your life. And that's what can bring you a strong level of peace. So realize that what the ego does is the ego tries to make people feel guilty for living their life. That's what the ego does. And it's not easy to, to understand this because what happens is that is that we can fall into the trap. Like if you have like people in your life that are doing this, we can fall into the trap of thinking that people are like out to get us, but there's nobody out to get you. Nobody's trying to do anything to you. It's just ego playing out patterns unconsciously. That's all it is. So, so I want you to really understand that because it's not like anybody is out there trying to deceive you or manipulate you. I and mean, there's these people trying to manipulate me and control me. Like there could be, there could be. I think a lot of times in life there could be. There's probably people out there doing these things. At the same time though, most of the time it's not. Most of the time, nobody's trying to manipulate you or deceive you. Everybody loves you. Everybody's connected to you. They're just unconsciously playing out patterns and they're not in their power. So then they pull you into that. And so the key to not be controlled by anybody in your life is to understand that you have the power to be 100% unapologetically who you truly are. Just fully own the truth, fully own the truth. If you don't want to do something, then say it. If you don't want to, uh, you know, have a relationship with somebody, just say it. If you like it, and, and that sounds kind of cold, but do you want to live a lie or do you want to live the truth? Do you want to live a lie or do you want to live the truth? This is, this is where your life is going to start to shift is when you stop living a lie and you live into the truth. And Hey, the truth can hurt sometimes, right? The truth isn't always, you know, necessarily it's an easy, it's an easy to speak or for anybody else to hear. But the more that you actually speak the truth and speak how you really feel and, and, uh, and just commu because I would say that most manipulation comes down to a lack of communication skills. That's all it is. If that's all it is. If you just communicate properly, no one's going to manipulate you. You won't manipulate anybody else to get your needs met because you got to realize that you have these tendencies probably within you as well. Like we all have this within us. We try to control things to get certain outcomes. Just be truthful. Just let people know what you really want. Just let people know the truth of, of what it is that you want. And here's the thing, when you speak your truth, either people will accept you fully or you'll be rejected. But if you're rejected, that's okay because now you're speaking your truth and you're being honest. So don't be afraid of rejection because that's you. That's you have to honor yourself. You have to be, you have to own your integrity. You have to own your values and who you are. Certain people will reject you. Okay, beautiful. But then now you're not going to be manipulated anymore, right? And now you're, now you're in the power. You have your power to create your life. You can actually create your life in a much more powerful way. When you realize that you can lay boundaries, you don't have to do things unless you want to do them. And now you're in a much more powerful position to actually live the life that you really want. And this is the key is to understand that you have the power to literally live the life that you really want. And all you have to do is understand that you are always making choices, whether consciously or unconsciously. And usually when we're making those choices unconsciously, that's where the manipulation comes. So I'm going to share one last thing with you that I think you'll really enjoy. Basically all manipulation and control leads to uh, one thing, which is unconsciousness. That's all it is. It's just unconsciousness. If you're fully conscious, if you're fully truthful, if you're fully honest, if you're fully authentic, if you're fully vulnerable, you won't be manipulating anybody else. Nobody will manipulate you because you'll have the communication skills. You'll be truthful. You'll be honest and you're going to honor both sides. And this is what you're going to create. Uh, you're going to create something that I call the win win dynamic not a win-lose or a lose-win, it's a win-win. And this is about being truthful, being honest, and being fully aloud with who you are. That was really loud. I don't know if you heard that in the video. Anyways, 
That's all I have for this video. Once again, if you want to work with me one on one personally, hit the link that's in the description box of this video to apply for a free consultation. As always, have yourself a great day and I'll see you in the next video.